Welcome to Dee's Kitchen. We are making Amish rhubarb jam. So we have four cups of chopped rhubarb, four cups of sugar in this pan, and we are just getting them to a boil here, and we are going to boil them now for 12 minutes. So we just set a timer, so 12 minutes to go on this, and then we will be back. And in the meantime, we have prepped our jars, container that we're putting in to give away, pineapple, we need a jar of pineapple or a can of pineapple. And so we um, have 14 ounces of that chopped up, and we have jello in this one. So this is a different recipe we've never done before. So we are trying it out here today. Um, it was three ounces of small box of je uh, cherry jello. So we'll be back in a few minutes when this is ready to go with the next step. Thanks. We are back. This rhubarb is cooking down. You can come in a little closer. It's getting thicker. And so now we are going to add in 14 ounces of crushed pineapples. We only had tidbits, so we had to uh, throw them in the blender and blend them a little bit. <laughs> so that's why ours are a little on the bright side, but they'll, they'll settle down in there. So we are going to go another three minutes on this, and then we will add in our three ounces of cherry jello, and then it will be ready to put in our jars. So this is a pretty quick little recipe here. Don't know how it'll taste, but uh, we will find out. So we'll be back in the three minutes when this is ready to go. All right, we have our three minutes with the pineapple in there and it's getting thicker. So now we are adding three ounces of cherry jello per the recipe. And we're gonna mix it up. Look at that, it's gonna give it lots of color now. Come on up here, bud. Look at that. That'll make her rhubarbish looking on it. Ooh, that's like cherry jello too. And we're just gonna stir this in good, it says. And then we are gonna jar it up. We're gonna be giving some away, so we are going to um, just use dishes for some of it. And then we'll keep a few jars for ourselves or relatives and whatnot. But mostly it's just gonna get given away. So I think that burner's off. That over there. And let's see what it looks like here. Oh, look how nice and it's a nice thickness to it. That's kind of pretty. Okay, let's do up a, a jar or two for us first, and then we'll finish those off. Oh, there's a string of rhubarb. <laughs> well, you know there's rhubarb in there. this off with a vinegar type rag. All right. Yeah. Lid here. Ooh, hot. Da -da. And again, we're gonna finger tight. Check that out, how pretty that is. A little dirty there, but. Ooh, tastes like um, cherry jello. <laughs> well, that's all right. We'll do up a couple more of these little ones for people. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. All right, so that is our Amish rhubarb jelly, or jam, I guess it is, Amish rhubarb jam, I think. We will link the original recipe to this page, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for stopping by Dee's Kitchen.